Hi guys, welcome back to my channel today. In this video, I'm doing the high skin fade type of haircuts and I'm going to try to show you guys how to do it and how to fade the hair. As you can see, we are going to make this really, really nice and clean and crispy uh, fades in here. And I'm going to show you guys step by step all the tricks and tips. And I hope this video will be very, very helpful for you. And by the way, if you have any questions, please don't be hesitate to comment on the below and I will be happily answer all your questions. And also, you know, if you have any uh, idea about what type of haircut you guys want to see next, and please let me know and I will do my best to make that video for you guys as well. I'm working with the foil shaver in here and trying to clean the all the last hair cuts on the bottom of the hair. By the way, you know, if you use a foil shaver, it will give you always nice and crispy hair cuts. It will make it look very, very nice and clean. I'm trying to make it my first step in here for the fade. And no guards all the way open. I'm trying to lose the last, uh, like on the bottom of the line in here with the zero, like close, all the way close. As you can see already, the line is starting uh, like uh, clear in there. And what I will be doing afterward, what I will be doing with the small detailers, I will be going over again to make it more cleaner. While you are working with the clipper guys, you know, it's all completely up to you uh, how to like work with the clipper. It's kind of like, you know, you can sometimes you can open the clipper halfway and sometimes you can close all the way and sometimes you can open all the way. It's kind of like depends on you in there, how the way you are working in there and it's what way you feeling it's going to take the hair off. It's completely on your profession in there, you know, like completely is up to you in there. What way the clipper is going to be working more smoothly and more better for you in there. So make sure you just work that way. And of course, you know, more you practice and the more you're going to get better with that clipper as well. And because you're going to learn the clipper, what way the clipper is working as well. sometime I was working in there uh, you know like with the corner of the clipper again and trying to blend in the middle of the hair kind of you know like because I don't want to dig down with the clipper right in because that will make you and create you more lines and so that's mean you know if you try to blend in more lines you're gonna keep going higher and higher so you have to just be careful in there and just kind of like work with the corner of the clipper and just like kind of like blend in Here is number one all the way open uh, I am working uh, with. Mm -hmm. 
now, as you can see, I'm close to the number one uh, guard all the way because some parts, you know, you can work with the open and some parts you can work with the close. And whenever you are doing the fade and you kind of like working on the fade. So sometimes, you know, that's why you have to close the guard and sometimes you have to open halfway and sometimes you have to open all the way. It depends on what way you are working in there. As you can see, the fade is starting to come up now as well, coming out. And pretty good. With this client's hair, and uh, this client is, uh, he wasn't want to go higher on the back area. So that's why I have to try to keep it low as possible on the area. And um, so that's why, you know, I'm trying to do it like very kind of under the uh, blend and in there. As you can see guys, I'm working with the number one kind of like close and open and sometimes halfway open in there. Just kind of like going back over again and checking the round as well, round the fade. So making sure, kind of blending everywhere. Same time I'm using always my fade brush. Maybe you guys notice that. Because the fade brush is kind of like kept nice and clean. Here I'm working with the 0.5 guard off. It's kind of like open and close again, and wherever I feel is either more faded in or less faded in, I'm just kind of like going over. And as you can see in here, I am working with the corner. So I'm not I'm trying to kind of like get in and like very like kind of like blend them with the only kind of like corner of the blade. Kind of like corner of the clipper, I am working in there. So, see, I in here, I in here, I try, I take off the guards. Now, kind of working with the zero and and all the way close, no guard, and some parts I'll be working like open.
And this is the kind of result we are starting getting with the fades. Here I'm just working on the detail work, just like kind of like trying to make make the fade uh, clean as possible. And with the with the clipper, I am working some parts close and some parts open with no guard. As you can see, I am working a corner of the clipper because I don't want to make myself another line in there. And because you know when you make more line, you have to blend in more and that will make you go more higher and higher and that will kind of like at the end ruin the fade because on the past i did that mistake so many times and whenever whenever i was learning and i did that mistake so many times so that's why you know just you know whenever you are kind of like blended in and then uh, working with the detail work on the fade just work a uh, corner of the bl uh, blade and that will get in the wherever you want to fade that will be more easy for you as well as you can see i am kind of also going and, and doing a couple of touches in here with the small detailers as well in here um, I am working with the tenon scissors and I'm just kind of like taking the weight because our client was uh, happy with the with his hair and he wasn't wanting to take anything off but he just said you know he's he liked to take a little bit of the weight of the hair because he feels it's too heavy so he just wanted me a little bit like take the weight off the hair the tin and scissors and that was all and afterward i'm going to on the top as well and i'm working a little bit off the top as well with the weight same time in here i'm working with the tin and scissors in here and also working with the fade as well doing some detail work as you can see whenever I take the weight off the side the hair sets better and also the smooth better as well In here I was just trying to show him uh, behind the hair and kind of like trying to show him the fade. Uh, was he happy enough or was he okay with that and just kind of like double checking with the art blind.
as you can see on the top I am just taking a little bit off the weight uh, of the hair uh, because our client was happy enough with the length so he wasn't wanting me to take too much off so that's why I'm just kind of like going over again and just double checking again and just making sure it's all uh, good on the top of the hair Our client is having very good hair already, so it was not really needed to take it much off anyway because he already liked this style. Here I was just kind of like styling, styling the hair with the blow dry in here and just trying to see what way it's going to come up. As you can see guys, that's the result we are kind of getting with the hair. And so far so good. As you can see guys, I'm just trying to work the around the neck area in here and just going double check behind the ears and all. Uh, you can always find a couple of small fine hairs around the neck and I always like to clean them and make sure it's nice and clean. Make sure you guys let me know what you think about this haircut and this hairstyle and this fade. I am so excited to hear your uh, opinions and your comments. And also what uh, video and what type of video you guys want to see on the next. And make sure you guys comment, comment on the below. And I will do my best to make next video uh, the way you guys want. And so far I want to thank you so much for everybody uh, being supporting me in this my channel. And I really, really appreciate it for all your help, guys, and all your sports. And thank you so much for watching this video. And if you have any question, please comment on the below. And we are all here to help each other. And please, guys, if you want to see more video like this, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you.